Hello everyone, I am Dr. C.P. Ravi Kumar. I am a consultant pediatric neurologist based at Astor Whitefield Hospital. In this video, I am just going to give you a brief introduction about genetic disorders. Many times, uh, there is a lot of myth about genetics. As soon as we say to somebody that we need to evaluate or look into genetics of the child, people often come up with a statement straight away that nobody in their family has genetic problems, which is true. But also what we need to understand and the important factor is all of us are born with a set of genes. One pair comes from the father, one, comes from, one pair comes from the mother. So this genetic recombination happens with every pregnancy, with every life. That is the reason why you are brothers and sisters, each one of you is different and we are not photocopies. Even twins are not 100% identical. So that is where genetic mutations or genetic changes are, have been helpful in each one of us being different at the same time that has been responsible for the evolution of the mankind. So when this happens, mistakes happen. That is what we call mutations or deletions or duplication. There are different medical terminologies. This can happen. But also nature has a check system where every problem in the genes doesn't cause a disease. But sometimes even nature cannot help. So that is where we need to consider genetic evaluation. Genetic diseases can present in various ways. Like for example, the child or the person himself may look different from the general population, what we call dysmorphism. He may have developmental issues, he may have neurological problems, oncological problems, he may have learning issues. There are many ways genetic problems can present. And it can also present in the later age. Many times we have heard, I have been well for 50 years, now how can I have a genetic problem? Genes are something you are born with. In the first few weeks or one from the time the life was formed, the genes have been set. So mistakes can be there in this genetic makeup and it can present at various ages. Sometimes at birth, sometimes in utero means when the baby is still a fetus and sometimes even later years of life. So whenever you have a doubt or whenever the clinician feels genetic evaluation is needed, please understand this concept so that you can get the right advice with an expert and genetics, as soon as we say genetics, the other thing is anyway, there is no treatment. This is the work kind of instant statement which parents come up with. But science, technology and uh, knowledge is expanding so vast, now a lot of genetic therapies are also coming into picture. So it may be possible, there are many genetic conditions where, yes, it is true, we cannot change the genes, but we can change the outcome. So we may be able to treat the condition or treat the disease in such a way that you have a better quality of life. Now, in the next decade or so, even genetic editing may be possible. But what is there in the future, we do not know. But the future is looking very promising. But there are many genetic disorders where you can get a treatment and can end up in a better state than what you are. So it is very important to understand this. If you ever think or if you have ever been told that you have a genetic issue, it is better to get an expert opinion do the right test and get the right advice. I hope this information is helpful and we have a genetic consultant at Aster New Kids Whitefield Hospital and if you need any advice you can always reach out to Aster Whitefield Hospital. I hope this brief information is helpful. If you need more information either reach out to us or drop a comment we will be able to reply. Thank you.